Hey folks, this is JR with DIY Prepper. Welcome to the channel, and today we're going to be talking about the best prepper and survival uses for zip ties. This is going to be a continuation of the series that I started last week with the video where I showed all the different items, kind of like zip ties, that have survival uses. So if you saw that video and there is an item that you want me to do a video specifically over, like what I'm doing for zip ties, go ahead and put that in the comments below. One way that preppers can use zip ties is to help them secure lids to plastic totes. If you're a prepper, organization is a really big deal, so you're probably having to utilize space on your top shelf or maybe your attic for things you don't use all that much, like your Christmas decorations. And a lot of times we use those plastic totes, and if you have them kind of in a precarious position and you squeeze them just wrong, the lid can pop off and send stuff falling on your head onto the ground, break stuff, make a huge mess. So how you avoid that is you start with the lid on top of the plastic tote and you carefully drill a hole through the edge of the lid into the tote underneath and you run a zip tie through those holes and you do that on both sides. So now it's going to be pretty much impossible for that lid to just pop off on its own, but you're still going to be able to get it off when you need to with a pair of like flush cutters, scissors, or something like that. And kind of related to that, you can also use zip ties to help prevent a toolbox from coming loose. That's really useful if you're transporting your toolbox like in the back of your truck, or if you're having to move it around a whole lot, you can just run a zip tie through the part where you would normally put a lock, and that should keep that from just springing open and dumping your tools everywhere. Another cool way to use zip ties for survival is to create a hands-free lighting method. Let's say you're in a situation where either you don't own a headlamp or you left it somewhere else, and you need a way to illuminate an area, but you also need both hands to work with. You can take something like a boonie hat, run some zip ties through the loops on the side, and then slide your flashlight into those zip ties. So now you should have a way to point light wherever you want it, but also keep your hands free. One way that I really like to use zip ties is to help me attach pouches and other items to web gear. I have a lot of pouches and holsters and things like that that aren't compatible with things like Alice clips, but I might want to attach them to something like my pistol belt from time to time. So what I'll do is, like in the case with my multi-tool pouch, I will run a zip tie through that belt loop, run it through the little eyes on the belt, and then zip it shut, and I'll use a pair of flush cutters to trim the end. And if you've never seen flush cutters before, these are absolutely awesome. If you're cutting a lot of zip ties, these will make your life a whole lot easier. And the reason why I like them so much is a few years ago, I built a bunny condo for my wife's classroom rabbit out of wire shelves and probably hundreds of zip ties. And I did not have those at the time, so trimming all of those zip ties so it wouldn't scratch the bunny rabbit, it was quite the ordeal and it scarred me for life. And also related to web gear, you can use zip ties to lock down Alice clips. If you've ever used any pouches or equipment that came with Alice clips, you know that from time to time those things can just spring open and maybe you lose a pouch or it comes loose at the worst possible moment. So you can use things like zip ties and even paracord to prevent that from happening. And how you do that with zip ties is you run one end of the zip tie through the top, around the side, through the bottom, back up the other side, and then cinch it down as tight as you can and then trim what's left over. And what that's going to do is it's going to prevent the top of that Alice clip from moving so you don't have to worry about those coming loose. And another way that you can use zip ties is to create makeshift key rings. If you have keys or other items that have little holes at the top, then zip ties can go a long way to keeping those together and preventing you from losing them. I used mine as a key ring one time because I had a uh, had like a key fob for your car that was held onto the key ring with a little piece of leather that over the years just broke down and fell off. And I had a zip tie, so I just put it on there and I burnt the end of that zip tie 
because when you burn a zip tie, the end kind of melts down so it's nice and rounded instead of sharp. So for an application like that where the zip tie after you trim it might continue to move inward, it's good to burn off the end so that no matter how far the zip tie kind of cinches down on itself, you're always going to have a rounded end. I don't have that key anymore because that car started to sound like a constipated lawnmower and it died so I got rid of it otherwise I would show y'all. You can also use zip ties as shoe or boot laces. If you're out in the field and you blow your normal shoe or boot lace, just use a few pairs of zip ties as a replacement. But I do recommend that you use more than one zip tie in case as you are moving that zip tie blows out. You want to have at least a few of them on there so that you don't lose the only means of keeping your shoe or your boot on your foot while you're moving. And probably the most common way to use zip ties is to use them to repair things like gear or vehicles. They're an excellent replacement for things like buckles. If you have a buckle that breaks, then you can continue to use straps on a backpack, duffel bag, whatever the case may be. Zip ties also work well as an additional layer of zipper security. And I say that loosely because zippers, they're not all that secure to begin with. If somebody really wants to get into something like your luggage, all they really need is either a knife or a ballpoint pen, and they'll be able to defeat a zipper pretty easily in most cases. But where I really see something like a zip tie being useful is letting you know if somebody has been in your bag. If you have something like a TSA lock that doesn't have the little indicator on it that lets you know whether or not your bag has been open, then having something like a pink or some other random colored zip tie put through your zipper also is going to let you know if somebody opened that lock because even if they replace the zip tie, which they probably won't, there's a good chance that they're not going to have some weird fluorescent color to do it with. So if this is missing or maybe there's a white or a black zip tie that replaced it, you know that somebody has been in your bag. Another way that you can use a zip tie is as a hammer loop. Hammer loops are one of those things that a lot of people probably don't have unless they do a lot of home improvement projects or they work in construction so they have a tool belt. But having a hammer loop is going to make your job site a lot safer if you're doing work around the house because you're not just going to lay the hammer down and forget about it and trip over it or heaven forbid leave it on top of a ladder, move the ladder and it pop you on the head, which that could be a fun trip to the emergency room. So taking something like a larger zip tie, running it through a nice sturdy belt, that's going to give you a place to keep that hammer so you know where it's at. And it's always there when you need it. And it's probably going to work a lot better than the hammer loop that's included on things like carpenter jeans. Because using those hammer loops where they're located, if you're moving around a whole lot, you're going to find that the hammer is slapping up against the side of your leg, which that can start to get annoying after an extended time. Zip ties can also be used to help you hang and organize clothes. In last week's video, I showed how to use zip ties to give you a place to hang clothes from something like a roll bar in a Jeep, but you can also use them to help you bug out faster. If you're in a situation where you need to get out of Dodge and you need to take your clothes with you, all you got to do is run that zip tie through your clothes hangers, cinch it shut, and you should be able to take that entire wad of clothing with you much faster than trying to gather them up all individually. Another way that you can use zip ties for survival is to create a pole saw. If you have a folding saw like a Baco Laplander, you can use some large zip ties to secure that to something like a tree limb, or maybe even PVC pipe or a broom handle, and that'll allow you to reach some higher areas and then saw branches off if you need to. And similar to that, you can also use zip ties to help make a spear. And if you're doing that, I strongly recommend using the larger, stronger zip ties because when that spear hits its target, it's going to have a lot of energy behind it and that can easily blow through smaller zip ties. Zip ties also work well to hang lights. Maybe you're at a campsite or you're dealing with a power outage. You can easily use them to secure things like lanterns or even smaller things like little string lights in something like a bathroom. And in addition to lights, you can also use zip ties to hang other things as well. If you have something like a rake or a shovel, drill a hole through the top of the handle, run a zip tie through and you can hang it on a nail. Or if you're camping and you want to keep certain things off of the ground out of the reach of critters, 
Then you can use zip ties to secure things like pots and pans and other items to tree limbs above ground level. If you're in a survival situation or even just camping, you can also use zip ties to create shelters and other things around camp that you may need. They work well for lashing tree limbs together and also securing tarps. You can also use zip ties as cinch straps to help you compress things like this sleeping mat. And the good thing about using a zip tie for this purpose is, especially with something like the sleeping mat, you're going to be able to use them for that purpose from now on. All you're really going to have to do is roll up the sleeping mat the same way that you did before and then slide the zip tie over the end. One way to use a zip tie that's talked about a lot in the prepper and survival community is as handcuffs. If you were doing that, you really need to use the larger zip tie. The smaller ones, such as these, anybody in decent shape is going to be able to break out of them by simply doing that. Now, they could break out of them using the, if you use these, but it's going to be a lot more difficult to do. Black Scout Survival, he did a video a while back just showing how difficult it is to get out of these, even if you are kind of a, a bigger tougher individual. So if you do find yourself being bound by something like this, your best bets to get out of it are probably going to be to uh, kind of pick the little lock there with something like a safety pin, bobby pin, paper clip, or something else kind of sharp and pokey, or to use like a shoelace as a friction saw to cut through this because these can be tough to get through, although you can do it. So if somebody breaks into your house and you have to restrain them, you really want to make it tight and put it behind their back and definitely keep an eye on them. And zip ties can also be used around your property to help you with things like gardening. If you have a plant that's kind of droopy, you can drive a stake into the ground and then loosely secure the stem of that plant to your stake with a zip tie. You don't want to make it too tight because you don't want to constrict it, but you just want to keep it from tipping over. And one thing that I mentioned in last week's video is that you can use zip ties to help secure a tripod deer feeder or some other piece of equipment so that animals just don't tip it over. And when you do that, be sure that you use a thicker zip tie or better yet, a metal zip tie because over time these do break down. They're just made out of plastic and being out in the sun a whole lot can cause it to break down, lose strength and then break. So it's not going to be a permanent fix. Bailing wire would be something that would probably work a lot better for that task. But if you find yourself out there, you forget your bailing wire and you have some zip ties, then they can work as a temporary measure to secure those. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. If there are any other items that you would like to, like to see a video similar to this for, go ahead and drop that in the comments below. I'm going to put last week's video here. And then also, just for good measure, I'll put the how to use a pull noodle to help you run an extension cord into your home video there. Y'all have a good one. Thanks again.